In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix the issue where your Rockstar Games launcher is not opening or working. So to solve this, the first thing you need to do is head over to your start menu and just search for Windows Security and then click on the Windows Security tab. From here, you want to click on Virus and Threat Protection. Scroll down and where you see Virus and Threat Protection Settings, click on Manage Settings. Scroll right down to the bottom where you'll see Exclusions and then click on Add or Remove Exclusions. Then we're just going to click on Add an Exclusion, select Folder and then from here, you'll need to navigate to the Rockstar Games folder. So this is usually located in your C drive. In the folder Program Files x86, scroll down until you see the Rockstar Games folder and then we're just going to select it like so and click select folder and then you can close out of this window and check to see if that's fixed your issue. If that's still not working another solution is to head over to your file explorer click on your C drive scroll down and double click on program files x86 find the rockstar games folder and what we're going to do is just rename this by adding an underscore at the beginning and hitting enter. You may get this security message pop up just click on continue and then what you need to do is head over to your desktop right click on the rockstar games launcher and select run as administrator and then just give that a few seconds to see if it loads up and as you can see that's now solved the issue for me if it's still not working though another thing you can do is head over to your start menu search for settings and then click on the settings window from the left hand side select apps click on installed apps then in this search box just type in onedrive or one word and if you see the microsoft onedrive here then you can try uninstalling this before opening the rockstar launcher obviously don't uninstall this if you actually use the microsoft onedrive but for most people you just have this on your computer and you never end up using it and it can actually cause compatibility issues with the Rockstar launcher. So what we're going to do is just click on these three horizontal dots and select uninstall and then confirm by pressing uninstall. So once you've uninstalled this like so you can once again try launching up the Rockstar launcher and that should have now solved any issues you were having. If you did find this video helpful then let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.